first of all talk about the game here. Obviously disappointing, but I, I would safe to say lots to build off of from, from this one tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating, but like you said, I felt we played good and um, some bounces didn't go our way. We took a took a little too many penalties, but I mean, that's something we can teach and learn from it, so we'll do better next time. And how gratifying was it for you on a personal level to get that first yeah. one out of the way? Yeah, no, it felt nice. Um, <laughs> Took a while, but you know I'm happy I got it, and you know grateful my dad could be there to watch it. So it was pretty cool. Are you liking the way your game is trending here, uh, with the more ice time, and obviously playing against uh, the other team's top players. Yeah, no, obviously, um, there's still stuff I can learn. Um, and I feel like I'm learning every game, something here or there. But um, you know I like how I'm trending, and um, I feel like you know as a team we're getting better. Obviously we're in a rut right now, but um, we got to stay positive. From a team perspective here, lots to build up from this one going into Anaheim? I think so, yeah. Um, we did a lot of good things, so um, kind of just do the same thing in Anaheim. When you took that shot, could you see it was in? Uh, no, not really. I kind of just saw the goalie fall down and Brady turn around with his hands up in the air. So I didn't know if I got it, but he said he didn't touch it. So. Jake, you're the first Montana-born player to ever score in the NHL. On a personal <laughs> note, what does that mean for you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, hopefully some kids back in Montana were watching the game or see something um, on TV. But you know, I'm pretty blessed to come from such a great family and even a you know a greater state of Montana. So um, you know, I kind of just you know really proud of where I came from and um, yeah, just happy I scored and got it out of the way. What did I scored kind of boxes, but having your dad here has to make that special, right? Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Um, I know my family watches all the games back home, but to have him in person, um, get to talk to him after the game. So, um, you know, I'm pretty lucky to have him here. It's of little consolation with the end result the way it is here, but lots to build up from, from this game here tonight and the way your team played. Yeah, you can always take positives. It's, um, yeah, it's just you play good stretches and, and uh, you know, a good game. It's just, um, not getting the results right now. You show more of your team's identity, though, from start to finish tonight. 100%. Um, it's a great team. I mean, they're they're top five in the league for a reason. So, um, felt like we battled with them all night, and uh, you know, kind of you know, dictated our game there for uh, a bit of the game too. So, um, yeah, we just didn't get the result tonight. But uh, there's a lot of guys that uh, really give it their all tonight. Just frustrating to not. Come out of here with at least a point. I think so. Yeah, it's um, no, it's point point based and win based league, and, and uh, yeah, we're just not getting the results right now. But no, we're playing. Uh, well, no comes is a good hockey. So, um, but it's a great team. Um, a lot of great players. A lot of guys that have been top tier in the league for a while now. So uh, we knew it was going to be a challenge coming into tonight. But um, yeah, it's uh, we definitely have like to. Have gotten at least a point tonight, and, and um, yeah, um, they'll come though. What do you think you need? I mean, it's kind of a general question, but what do you think you need to do to turn the corner and, and then, in that sense, get this turned around? Well, you just need to elevate in here. It's, um, we just need everybody here, we need top to bottom, to um, you know, find that extra gear and find that extra level to, to get this done and get the job done, and, and uh, we're capable. Uh, in this room to do that, but um, yeah, it's a big one. Uh, you know, Friday, it's uh, um, we need to be at our best there. Did you feel good for uh, Sandy getting his first one there? You're quick on the puck. No, one hundred percent. It's uh, he's been phenomenal for us. He's you know right from when he got here, um, even last year. Just you can see how um, well he, you know great of a player he is, but as uh, good of a guy he is as well. It's. Uh, He's already a, you know, a good friend of mine on this team already, and, and uh, I'm so happy for him. It's just uh, it's a dream come true to uh, play in the National uh, Hockey League, but to get your uh, first NHL goal, it's, uh, not many people could say that, but there'll definitely be uh, you know, more from uh, more goals coming out of him because just how uh, great of a player he is and how dominant he's going to be in the next uh, bunch of years. As someone whose dad played in the NHL as well, what do you think it means to him to have his dad in the building for that one? It's got to be exciting. Um, Excited for Jake, his dad, his whole family. It's uh, it wasn't just Jake that uh, got him to where he is now. It's uh, you know his whole family who uh, you know, helped him out growing up, got him to practice and, and all that, and uh, we're great role models to him. So um, now as great as it is for Jake, I think it's a celebration for you know all the family, close friends, and, and everybody who's you know, helped out Jake along the way.
you see from your team here that might have been different from games in the past or where you lost? Recent games. Yeah, I mean, I saw a ton of fight, a lot of battle. Um, never got down. Um, you know, we just we get scored on, we just go right back at them. There's no hanging our heads and stuff like that, and no feeling sorry for ourselves, and that's the way you got to play. But like you said, there's um, no silver linings right now. Still another loss. We need to win, but um, you know, it's encouraging to see that for sure. Composure and maturity come to mind here. Two words to describe sort of what you saw from your team. Yeah, for sure, especially against a, a veteran group like that. It's nice to see, like you said, those are two good words, the composure and maturity that this group is, uh, you know, starting to gain. And, uh, you know, that'll definitely benefit us moving forward. What do you think you have to do to kind of get this turn the corner to, you know, start winning games like this? Because losses have been close, but they don't count for anything. No, they definitely don't. Um, you know, maybe you just need... Um, I don't know, obviously we need to keep playing the way we've been playing, stick to that. Um, maybe an extra save or two. Um, you know, sometimes when you're in a slump like this, you need a goalie to steal one. And, um, you know, that's on me and Forzy to go out there and, and uh, you know, try to steal one, at least give us a chance. You get a perfect view of Jake Sanderson uh, defending. Long range view from getting his first goal here tonight. But what are you seeing from this young man and the accomplishment that he had today? Yeah, I mean, it was just a matter of time. He's got so much skill and, and poise back there. And for a kid that's so young, um, I think those two words you mentioned before, maturity and composure, um, for a kid his age, um, you know, he just keeps building and building every game. He just keeps getting better. So, um, you know, I can't say enough good things about the way he's playing right now. And uh, we're going to need that out of him every night.